Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Custom Jump Pads plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create these awesome custom jump pads, which do loads of different things. You can customize them a lot, including adding cool particle effects, different powers and angles, and so much more. So there's a few different examples here which have uh, different amounts of power and the angle that it shoots you at. So if we were to do this one, so it's power 10, angle 5, it's really not going to send us very far. It's pretty rubbish, but we can look into a different one which has power 20 and angle 45. So that one shoots us quite a distance as we land in this hole over here and you can see the particle effect follows us as we're flying through the air. The next one is angle 90, power 50, so we're going to shoot straight up uh, with the particle effect following us and as it's power 50 which is the max which we set in the config file um, we are going to go max distance. This one is angle 10 power 50 with flames following us which is pretty cool and that's going to shoot as far as well. So those are just a few different examples of the things you can do with this plugin. Uh, there's a couple more customizations that we can do. So if you want to create some of your own just go ahead and put down any pressure plate and then do forward slash jp to see the command. Then if we do forward slash jp create or even click the command in chat we can set the power and the angle. So let's just do 2020 uh, which is sort of a medium power and a shallow angle. Now that will set the default particle effect which we can actually change by doing jp set. So there's so many different attributes that we can change. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color first of all and we change the color code. So we don't write blue or red or whatever, we write and 3 if we want a nice blue or and 5 if we want a nice purple. So what else can we do? Well we can set the particle effect and it will give us a nice long list. We don't have to go on Google and look it up or remember one and we can click whichever one we want and that will give us the dragon's breath one. Uh, obviously you can change it to a different one if you want so you can scroll the way down look for one you want uh, let's try out the snowball one and that's just going to have a little snowball effect above the pressure plate so obviously some are better than others that smoke one i've got is pretty mad and what else can we do we can set a permission so if you only want maybe admins or certain ranks to be able to use this pressure plate you can do for slash jp.gold or set the permission jp.gold and that will allow only people who have that to use it. Then we can do a few more things such as change the sound. Um, so there's a different sounds here uh, similar to the particle effect you could scroll down there is literally hundreds uh, so pick whichever one you want and then uh, you can do for slash jp info as well to look at all the different attributes that we've set and if we go into the ones that I made before and do the same commands we can see that they have different powers, angles, permissions, particles etc uh, which is really cool actually. So let's go ahead and give this one a test run and if we just uh, do full slash jp and then we can also do list that's going to list all the ones we've created and their coordinates so if you lose them and there we go so we get sent into the sea um, it wasn't very high because it was 20 degrees and it was sort of a decent distance because it was a power of 20. Then we have the next one so we can just make this one pretty crazy. Let's do create 100 and then 80 degrees so it's going to work the same as 50 as that is the max we set in the config file. And there we go we are falling out of the sky and back into the water. So that is pretty much everything in game. Uh, as you can see, it's a fantastic plugin, really awesome, works very well, and just a blast to have. So, what we're going to do now is hop over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So, here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the jump pads folder, and as you can see, there are three YML files. So, let's start at the bottom in the messages.yml. As you can expect, these are all the messages that you'll see in chat, and we've also got the prefix here. So, you can change this if you want, but obviously, there's no real reason to. So we can go out of that into jumppads.yml. So in here it's going to store all of the different jump pads that you've created, all the different powers, angles, colors, etc. So just all the data really. Um, so you don't really need to mess around with that. You can do it all in game. Finally, the config.yml. Now in here is going to be a few different things. So up at the top we've got the maximum power. Obviously you've seen um, what the minimum max can do as we showed in game. Um, so just be careful what you want to set that as. And then do we want the launch direction to be in the direction you're looking or the direction the player is walking? So um, choose whatever you want. Then down here we have stuff to do with the trails uh, being enabled and being a specific color. 
so bad fold they're red and density is one so that is the lowest you can have more but as it says here it's for the best visual appeal then we have the jump pad launch sound so by default it's going to be this you can disable it you can change the volume and the pitch or you can just go in game and change it to whatever sound you want then should living entities also get launched that would be quite funny if you had a really powerful one um, outside of your house and the creeper walks up to it um, so maybe set that to true that would be uh, interesting to watch and then the visualizer do you want that to be enabled or disabled so the particle type is redstone and um, it's red render distance is 20 and it goes around the radius um, with a speed of two so there's lots of things in here you can change down here there is the launch effect uh, which is actually disabled in the latest version um, of this plugin and then down here some update settings so that is pretty much everything in the plugin it's really simple it's really well made and it's really cool um, this is the spigot page so it was uh, updated at the start of this month and as you can see uh, there's lots of information here about it and yeah that's pretty much it so if you have any problems with it obviously contact the developer bens56 over here but you shouldn't because it's a fantastic plugin if you want a server to host it on check out serverminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around if you want to see any more tutorials link in the description or just head over to the channel and i think that's it so subscribe like comment i'll see you next time